Sex trafficking is a growing concern in Minnesota and right here in Lakeland country as well. Those working to stop the problem hosted a community forum in Brainerd this week to discuss the concerns of sex trafficking across the state. The presentation included the work of Minnesota's Safe Harbor Initiative responding to the sexual exploitation of youth. Along with those efforts, many law enforcement officers are on board localizing efforts to catch these traffickers. Our Chelsea Brown has the story. It's more complicated than anyone could have imagined. That was the message at the forum, noting that the industry is not always how it is portrayed in popular culture. I was trafficked in a small town in the kind of places, it wasn't like there was bunches of bars or drunks. It was my mom's husband and his buddies. All traffickers look for one key factor. They are looking for members of our community, young people especially, who have got vulnerabilities. Ideally, um, people who've got a lot of vulnerabilities. And then they are preying on those vulnerabilities. Pinto explained that sex trafficking is happening anywhere a community has runaways or internet connection. Local efforts within the Baxter Police Force began last May when they started online sting operations. We went out, we've, we've promoted ads or posted ads on back pages ourselves, and that's how we've gone after the buyers locally. They have yet to catch a trafficker in the area, but alongside local advocates, they plan to continue to expand their efforts of ending sexual exploitation. We need to learn, okay, we've deterred it in this area. We truly believe it's probably still happening in other areas. Now we have to go out and figure out how to attack it in those areas. This is going to be something that's going to take years to address, and um, but we have to steadily move in that direction, and that means having uh, men and boys view differently uh, how they're interacting with women and girls. It means um, holding them accountable in that way and shifting the culture, and it means lifting up and taking care of people who are vulnerable in our communities. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. According to the Safe Harbor Law, youth under the age of 18 may not be arrested or prosecuted for engaging in prostitution. Sexually exploited youth are directed to the child protection system. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.